Hello and welcome to live Barclays Women's Super League coverage of Chelsea versus Everton from Kings Meadow. The hosts will aim to continue their dominance over the Toffees. Emma Hayes Blues are unbeaten in their last 13 WSL meetings with Everton, winning the last eight in a row and recording seven clean sheets in that period. It's set to be a tough battle for the visitors as they head into this fixture, having lost their last three league matches. Well, Chelsea, the WSL leaders up until today, they've been uh, slightly disthroned by Manchester City for the time being, but they can return to the summit with a success here. And they do have this really good record against Everton as well. They're still the only side with a 100% home record in the WSL this season, having been victorious in their last 21 league matches on their own patch. Everton in that uh, sticky patch at the moment. The Toffees having lost their last three WSL games. They haven't been beaten in four in a row since December 2021 to February 2022. Goals have been an issue for them. They're the lowest scorers in the WSL this season with just 10 so far coming into the weekend. That was three fewer than Brighton, Bristol City and West Ham. So this is how the weekend has panned out so far. It has uh, seen Aston Villa and Bristol City play out a two-all draw. Manchester United beat Brighton 2-0. The big eye-catching results so far. West Ham defeating Arsenal 2-1. Manchester City going to the summit courtesy of that win over Leicester and Liverpool and Spurs drawing one all. As mentioned, that means that Manchester City have temporarily gone to the summit on goal difference ahead of Chelsea, who will return there with a draw or better. If Chelsea win, Arsenal will be six points adrift of the leaders. Well, Chelsea splashed the cash in the most recent transfer window with a new world record transfer fee for Myra Ramirez, which would go up to around £426,000, including all possible add-ons that would eclipse Kira Walsh's fee of 400,000 from Manchester City to Barcelona. Lauren James is back in form at the moment, 11 goals in her last six WSL appearances for Chelsea. It's 11 in 11 in all competitions for the England international, arguably the form player in the league right now. Everton have also strengthened during the most recent transfer window. Riker Masson has uh, been brought in. She had her contract at North Carolina Courage expire in January and Everton stepped in to snap her up. Another player brought in by Brian Sorensen during the last month was Katrina Kuhl. She is in on loan from Arsenal and does have experience of uh, playing in this fixture, Katrina Kuhl, she's lost both of them, though, against Chelsea. So the stage is set then here at uh, Kings Meadow. Chelsea have been utterly dominant on their own turf. And the last meeting at Kings Meadow between these sides ended in a 7-0 win for Chelsea back in May of last year, which uh, is Everton's record. WSL defeat. Chelsea just getting stronger, aren't they? With that uh, outlay of £426,000 on Myra Ramirez from Levante. And Chelsea have won their last uh, three WSL matches since that 4-1 against Arsenal in December. They're only defeated any competition this season, and it's just one defeat in 19 in the WSL since March of last year. They have scored in every single game this season as well in the league. The only other team to manage that so far, Manchester United. So it is a tall order for an Everton side who are eight points worse off than at the same stage of last season when they were up in fifth with 19 on the board after 12 games. Goals, as I say, their issue. And one thing they will 
cling to is that 10 of the 11 points that Brian Sorensen's side have managed to pick up this season have actually come in away games. They've only managed one point from their six at home. Need to try and cut out these slack starts, though, because they've conceded first in eight WSL matches. Only Bristol City have conceded first in more of them. And when they go behind, Everton have struggled with just the one point picked up from losing positions this season. The joint fewest in the top flight along with Brighton. And there's some familiar faces on show towards both teams. Haggy Beaver-Jones, who's on the bench, spent last season on loan at Chelsea from Everton with 21 games and three goals in her time there. So a tall order then awaiting Everton here as they try to halt the juggernaut that is Chelsea playing on their own patch. Emma Hayes side, the only team still with an unbeaten, we're the only team with a 100% home record in the WSL this season, having won their last 21 matches in the league on their own turf. They're also unbeaten in their last 32 at home in the WSL. They could equal Manchester City's record of 33 with another game without defeat today. Well, world record signing Myra Ramirez makes her first start for Chelsea, having come on as a substitute in last weekend's 3-0 victory over Brighton. F. Perisay and Fran Kirby, the only two players who retain their place in the squad for the Champions League win against Paris FC, are the two players to drop out from the Brighton game. Ashley Lawrence also comes into the starting lineup. There are three changes for Everton after their 1-0 defeat by Leicester in the league last weekend. Emma Bissell and Katja Snoyce are both benched, while Sarah Hongar isn't in the squad at all. Martina Piemonte is one of those included, along with Hannah Benison and Justine van Alvermaet. So, after Arsenal drop points this lunchtime, Chelsea have the opportunity to stretch their advantage over their fellow London side to six points. Manchester City moving above them on goal difference. Just the one goal better off after their win against uh, Leicester. Manchester United closing the gap on Arsenal in third with their win as the Gunners fell to that shock defeat at West Ham. Now it's Chelsea's turn to show what they can do. Twenty-one home WSL victories in a row, sixty-eight goals across those wins, the longest home winning run in WSL history. So it doesn't really get much tougher for Everton here this evening. Brian Sorensen was talking about the fact that they know that it will be difficult here this evening, but they've got a game plan and they've got a method of playing that they think can cause some problems. And Emma Hayes was saying that Everton will give them some problems because playing against a back three is uh, never easy. And that's uh, how she's expecting Everton to line up this evening. Well, all eyes on Myra Ramirez, understandably, after that big money move during January. Chance for her to show what she can do from the word go this evening. Our referee this evening, Emily Heaslip. And on her whistle, the players, match officials and coaching staff will take a knee. Refereed uh, last season's FA Cup final, Emily Heaslip, which uh, Chelsea won by a goal to nil against Manchester United. 
So Everton get the game underway, kicking from right to left in this first half at Kings Meadow. Can they pull off one of the shock results of the season and get a victory at Chelsea's fortress? Even emerging with a draw would be something to write home about, given Chelsea's relentless displays here and also the fact that Everton are in a bit of a sticky patch right now, having lost their last three in the league. Chelsea have won the last eight WSL meetings between the teams and are unbeaten in the last 13 as well. 12 victories in that period. And the game between the sides at Kings Meadow last season was uh, one Everton will want to erase from the memory banks that 7 0 thumping they received in May, their record WSL defeat. Here's Guru Wrighton. New Charles quickly appealing for the throw, which Chelsea have got. Charles has thrown it in towards Ramirez, who's got over, and Emily Heaslip's got an early decision to make, and she says there's nothing in it. Well, Chelsea's newest signing made her debut last weekend as a 67th-minute sub against Brighton. The Colombian signed for a reported world record fee of £426,000, including add-ons from Levante a uh, couple of weeks ago. She was in the Colombia side that reached the Copper America final in 2022 and made it through to the last eight of last year's World Cup before joining Chelsea. Seven goals in 12 games for Levante this term. Decent contribution in the uh, Spanish Liga last term as well. 14 goals and 11 assists. Only three players with better numbers than that. Lawrence's throw. Jess Carter, Bjorn, Charles. Here's Guru Wrighton. Wrighton saw her cross charge down. Stepping in is Melanie Loipols. Uh, returning to the WSL in 2017. Everton have actually never managed to finish higher than fifth. Last season they came sixth under Brian Sorensen, but this season they've struggled to really match that form. He's been at the helm since the start of the 2022-23 campaign. And this season they're actually averaging fewer goals and fewer shots per game and also conceding more goals and uh, facing more shots and they've averaged less possession as well. Masson. Piemonte. It's going to be an early Everton corner. One thing on their side is that they have won 10 of their 11 points this term away from home, Everton. Only the uh, traditional big four have won more away points in the league this season. enough for uh, Hannah Hampton.
Hampton's absolutely launched that towards Guru Wrighton. And Wrighton's pass is cute. And here's Ramirez. And still, well, a couple of sights of goal for Myra Ramirez early on. Just couldn't quite sort her feet out there, could she? Great ball forwards by Hannah Hampton. Really intelligent pass by Wrighton. And Ramirez sees the chance come and go. Cuthbert. Well, she's got the captain's armband this evening, Erin Cuthbert. And tried her luck from range here. Wasn't a bad effort, actually. Aaron Cuthbert, who uh, has won in all ten of her WSL appearances against Everton, the Scottish midfielder, her only defeat against the Toffees coming in the FA Cup. And she has uh, popped up with five goals this season, scored six across the whole of last term. Courtney Brosnan. That's a useful looking pass. And uh, Masson seen off by Jess Carter, who was wise to the danger as well. Needed to be. Smart move this from Everton. Great pace from Carter. Get across and just uh, shut the door as Masson tried to get in. So, another early Everton corner here. Ramirez helping out at the back. It's just Carter who got her head to it. It's going to be left for Heather Payne to uh, take here. Irish midfielder who can play further forwards as well. She scored in her last cap for the Republic of Ireland, Heather Payne. Another Everton corner. They've uh, had uh, three of them early on here. It's a useful delivery. Chelsea scrambled it away, but it's a decent period this for the Toffees. Now she's seen her slide slip down to second on goal difference behind Gareth Taylor's Manchester City. And a draw or better. We would see them return to the summit. And James upended. Cuthbert has uh, taken this one. There's a good ball in as well. Collected by Lawrence.
Obviously, have won the last three in the WSL since that 4-1 defeat to uh, Arsenal in December, which is actually the only game they've lost in any competition at all this season. If you go further back, it's just one loss in their last 19 WSL games with 17 wins and one draw since March of last year. Cuthbert, almost for Ramirez. Cuthbert sniffing around, Cool is there. That's well anticipated by Ritten Conried, who's coming forwards again now. Lawrence making the run, Ritten Conried onto her. Three Everton players around Lawrence, who thought it had gone out, but she was uh, incorrect. Leupholz. Natalie Bjorn, Jess Carter. Here's Lawrence. Ritten Conried. James. Chelsea starting to pop the ball around nicely. But uh, Courtney Brosnan hasn't been forced into a save yet. Deflection nearly worked out there for Ramirez, who has won that fairly in the eyes of Emily Heaslip. Cuthbert. Dispossessed, but then she's won it back. Cuthbert with the scoop forwards, lovely idea. But uh, Guru Wright couldn't keep it in. Carter. Cuthbert, bit of a uh, heavy touch there. Wrighton got a touch on it, but uh, sent back by Finnegan safely to Courtney Brosnan. Chelsea are the only team that still have a 100% home record in the WSL this season. They've won their last 21 at uh, home in the league, which is a uh, record achievement. And also unbeaten in their last 32 WSL home games, they will equal Manchester City's record of 33 if they uh, add another to that tally today. But it's Everton on the move here with Masson. Masson's ball. Chelsea making a bit of a meal, getting it away. Katrina Kuhl was in there making a nuisance of herself, and it's eventually back in the midst of Hannah Hampton. And Everton having a bit of joy here. Lawrence couldn't make the interception. Broke to Masson, who spotted Kuhl. Cuthbert diving in and then eventually scrambled away. Cuthbert. So it's been a decent opening quarter of an hour for Everton, who have uh, conceded a lot of possession and territory, but haven't been too concerned by what Chelsea have done so far. Piemonte. Back it goes from Cool. Oh, 
nearly nicely worked, but just beyond the grasp of Aurora Galley. Lawrence with this throw then for Chelsea. Ramirez on the chase. And Alva Matt manages to check her progress, but Chelsea will have the ball. has gone there's an offside in there Everton have a poor record against the top WSL teams they've failed to win in 45 games against the current top four it's a run that stretches back to 2017 and as well as only taking three points from their 45 matches against the current top four since they were promoted in 2017 they've got a goal difference cumulatively in those matches of minus 104. So if you're looking for any small reasons to be optimistic from an Everton perspective, one of the three points that they've gained in those 45 matches did come against Chelsea. And Alvamat, that's it to Piemonte. Rebound might work out here. Hassan was just uh, blocked off by Natalie Bjorn, a former Everton player, facing her old club for the first time. She cost uh, Chelsea £100,000. Ramirez. No foul. James. That's to really make her mark on the game. Been in such blistering form in the WSL, hasn't she? Lawrence loses out. But it feels as though Chelsea have been dominating the ball, but the stats tell us otherwise. 51% to 49. Everton will be pretty happy with that. Not too happy with the pass mind from Katrina Kuhl there. Ritten Conreed has to go all the way back to Hannah Hampton. Melanie Loipols. Charles. Right and not quite the right angle on it. <laughs> Solid opening 20 minutes from Everton on their travels, and uh, well, they haven't won any of their six at home in the WSL this season with. Uh, just the one point taken. They have uh, picked up those uh, ten on their travels this term. Victory in the Merseyside derby at Liverpool, followed uh, by a draw away at Spurs and then back-to-back -back away wins at Aston Villa and West Ham. The most recent away game was uh, a narrow loss at Arsenal, which is uh, nothing to be ashamed of. Any really disappointing outcome for them was uh, losing their first away game of the season in the league when they went down 1 0 to Leicester. Ten points on their travels, just the one earned at home. Oh, 
Ramirez. And still Ramirez, good looking ball, they all missed it. Brighton, wonderful save. Courtney Brosnan to the rescue for Everton. Best moment of the game so far. The big money signing, Myra Ramirez was heavily involved and Courtney Brosnan ensures it remains goalless. Carter. Now Lawrence. That's nicely done by Cuthbert. Ritting Conrad. That's guided behind safely by Stenovic. Well, Broslin with a brilliant piece of work to ensure that Everton didn't fall behind here. Good swivel and go by Ramirez. Kept on going and then pinged it into such an inviting area. Brosnan reacting quickly to beat it away after Wrighton nipped in and produced a pretty decent effort on the turn. Ramirez going for it. Referee says it came off a Chelsea head last. Tricky one, and Brosnan under pressure! Has just about got away with it. Here's Cuthbert. Chelsea pumping up the pressure, but uh, pumped a bit too far by Cuthbert there. Well, it hung in the air for a while, and Brosnan was backpedalling, and in the end did just about enough. Off the post and then off the line. Well, she pushed it onto the upright. So it would have gone down as an own goal. Brian Sorensen can see the funny side of it now. Cuthbert. It's the feeling that Chelsea have turned it up a little bit in the last few minutes. the ball over the top for Ritting Conry to try and get on the end of but everything shaped ensuring that there was no easy through ball on Ramirez trying to just dab it into the path of Guru Wright and See, on the same points total as uh, they had at this stage of last season. They've only actually had more points at this stage twice before, although that was in fairly recent years in the 1920 campaign and the season that followed that. The joint most goals that they've scored at this stage of a campaign with uh, 38 so far, but also most that they've conceded since the 2015 to 16 campaign when they'd uh, also been breached 12 times. Everton with a chance to ask some questions here.
Lawrence. Ramirez. Ramirez. <laughs> no. It's a penalty. I was about to say that it looked as though there was a risky challenge that was made. Emily Heaslip didn't blow immediately, but after a bit more consideration, she is pointed to the spot. Well, Everton fume. Ritting Conry with the ball, Ramirez. She had to ride one challenge, and then when the ball was cut back there, there weren't really many protests. That was a risky leap in. And right in here, seemed to have been caught in that challenge. Or was it the uh, later challenge on Brighton that the penalty was awarded for? There were two challenges in there. And Guru Wrighton is going to take this penalty for Chelsea. And Wrighton scores. Right in the corner, and just as Chelsea were starting to turn up the heat, they've got their goal. Continue their record of having scored in every single WSL game this term. And Everton, who had made a pretty solid start, find themselves behind. Good penalty from Wrighton. Little chance for Courtney Brosnan, who guessed right, but it really was right in the corner. Everton still inquiring about whether that merited a penalty kick. And was it for that one on the follow-up when Jana Ritting Conried was caught? Either way, spot kick converted by Wrighton. Chelsea won Everton nil. Piemonte. Back it goes here for Stenovic. Everton need to dust themselves down. Wheeler. And Conrad for company. Chelsea and Manchester United remain the two teams to have scored in every WSL game this season. And when they go behind, Everton have struggled, taken just one point from a losing position this term. It's the fewest in the division, along with Brighton. Ramirez, here's James. New Charles. Wrighton. Towards Ramirez, but not enough elevation on it. James on the scene. Lawrence. Kyle Wheeler was uh, cautioned in amongst the commotion after the penalty award Lawrence Loipols vital for Everton that they don't concede again before the break Chelsea really examining their defensive resolve now all didn't go out
Basson. Stood it up nicely. Oh, should have been one all. Aurora Galli arriving at the far stick. And with the goal at her mercy, she got her finish all wrong. It's a delightful delivery. Hampton can't come for it. Galli got herself into the right area, but it wasn't the right finish. Loipoles. Carter for Lawrence. Might have been expected given who they were playing and where they were playing, but it does mean that uh, Brian Sorensen's time team have conceded first again. That's nine WSL matches that they've shipped the first goal in. Only Bristol City have led in first in uh, more matches than them. Oh, good ball towards Ramirez, and behind it goes from Stenovic. Chelsea corner. That's a testing one for Brosnan, but she's gathered that very well under pressure. In towards Ramirez. Hilton Conrad's in there, connected by Cuthbert. Cuthbert. Lawrence has poked it. Here's Carter. James, lovely dip of the shoulder. Right in, looking for the return to try and find Lauren James. Made a mess of clearing that Everton. Lawrence. And the pain was uh, cautioned as well. And Courtney Brosnan, I believe, for descent, saw herself go in the book. Surging forwards now is Aurora Galley. Couldn't quite find the right pass though. That's been gifted to Micah Masson. Fairly robust challenge on her by Loipoles. Charles with the block. Heather Payne collects. Nicole's stands firm, it's uh, still with Fenison. Cool. Masson. Behind from Carter.
once more up and out. Cool. Referee's just uh, stopped it here. I think Everton will be distraught if they're going one down at the break. They might still complain about the award of the penalty. Chelsea have uh, merited at least a 1-0 lead. It could have been worse for Everton, and they've had their moments going forwards as well. That miss from Rory Galli, the clearest uh, sight of the Chelsea goal. So you'd say that they've got uh, a basis to work with going into the second half. Cuthbert. Oof, that was good ball and right in arriving, nearly got a touch on it. Well, Ramirez nearly got the touch. Coming in late in the day, we were right and did, but not one that was on target. James is uh, down here. Card was awarded to Brosnan for her descent to the referee. Gives Emma Hayes a chance to get some instructions out to her team who course to return to the summit of the WSL it's been some good stuff from Everton another handy performance on the road although they do trail Uh, Everton might uh, latch on to if they're looking for causes, uh, causes to remain optimistic is that Chelsea have kept two clean sheets in their last six WSL matches so not exactly been watertight Charles Hampton. Fist across to Lawrence. Collected now by Cuthbert. Looking to release Ritten Conried. What a pass that was. Johanna Ritten Conried 
too close to Courtney Brosnan, but what a ball that was from Erin Cuthbert. Sumptuous pass, it was absolutely made to measure. team yet to lose a point when scoring first in the WSL this uh, season nine wins from nine when they have got the opening goal and you couple that with Everton's uh, woeful record when they've conceded the first goal and it looks uh, all set to be the outcome that many would have predicted before a ball was kicked Ramirez doesn't quite reach James. Hitting Con reads quickly onto that. And well won by Ramirez. Good strength to hold on to it. Wrighton, Ramirez. Cuthbert. Here's Ashley Lawrence. Still Lawrence. Leupolz. Leupolz with the inviting delivery. And Johanna Ritting Conry can sort her feet out in time. forwards by Brosnan Cuthbert Ramirez couldn't quite get a run through Finnegan did enough Brosnan gets it clear Final few seconds of normal time in the first half. It's going to be a free kick Everton's way. Lawrence will take this throw. Back here for Hampton. And we're going to have four additional minutes added on at the end of the half. Deflection almost uh, worked out there for Everton. Cool. 
Daniel Monte tried to make it stick, but was unable to do so. It's Lauren James now. And Alva Matt comes across to poke it out. Ritting Conrad. Ritting Conrad's pass from Mirez. Back for Lawrence. Lawrence inviting ball. Behind it goes. Chelsea corner. Everton desperate to get to the interval. Just the one down. Corner, Brosnan doesn't come. Collected by Cuthbert. Lawrence, useful. Natalie Bjorn almost in against her old club there. Piemonte. Now it's uh, come where Katrina Kuhl, Benny Son. Kuhl heaved across towards the of uh, Masson, but she's not going to be able to keep that in. Thirty seconds of additional time left to play, and what has uh, been an intriguing first half. Chelsea, as expected, have dominated, but Everton have had their moments, and will point to the fact that they're only behind after conceding a very debatable penalty kick. Cuthbert. Carter. Hannah Hampton. Charles. So Chelsea set to go back to the summit of the WSL, Gura Wrighton's penalty, the difference between the teams at the break, although Everton will still fume about the award of it following the challenge by Claire Wheeler. They had a chance to level through Aurora Galley. It's not been all going Emma Hayes's side's way, but they do have the lead at the break. Half time, Chelsea 1, Everton 0.
So Chelsea looking to return to the top of the WSL table. A draw or better would do that for Emma Hayes' side, who are such a juggernaut on home turf. Everton made it tricky for them, though. Chelsea didn't really lay a glove on them until midway through the half. Ramirez, the new big money signing, with an excellent ball in. Eventually it came the way of Guro Wrighton, and her effort was repelled well by Courtney Brosnan. Ramirez showing... Uh, Good pace here and good awareness to put it into a promising area. James didn't get the touch, it came to Wrighton. Her spin and hit parried to safety by Brosnan. Brosnan then had a bit of a let off from a corner not a long time after that. It was her palm onto the upright and she was relieved that it didn't go in, it was cleared away off the line. A tricky moment for the keeper with the swirling ball in the air. It would have gone down as an own goal if it had crept over the line. Fortunately for her, though, there was Claire Wheeler in just the right place. Wheeler then wasn't smiling when uh, Chelsea had an attack on 26 minutes. Ramirez with the cutback. Wheeler went flying into one challenge and then again went in and I think it's the second challenge that Wheeler was seen to have committed the infringement on. You could see she was saying she got the ball, having made the clearance here, and just happened to catch Ritting Conried with her follow-through. But penalty was the award, and Chelsea converted it, courtesy of Guro Wrighton. An erring finish from the Norwegian who steered it into the bottom corner. And although Everton would protest about the award of the penalty at that stage, Chelsea probably merited the lead based on their play. However, Everton had an opportunity to hit back near immediately after that. Lovely ball from out wide, picking out Galley at the far post. And she was unable to produce the finish. Riker Masson picking her out with the perfect delivery from out wide and Galley who got herself into the right area just couldn't readjust to produce the right finish so Everton still very much in the game it was key that they didn't concede another before the break and they managed to get themselves to the interval without conceding another Guro Wright thought she was in business here after the ball evaded Maya Ramirez but she was unable to fashion the header on target, which meant that at the break, it was Chelsea 1, Everton 0. So Chelsea leading Everton by a goal to nil at the break, six shots to two, and just two on target for Emma Hayes' side. Everton yet to get one on Hannah Hampton's goal. Possession-wise, not as dominant as some might have expected either, 56% in favour of the Blues. Maya Ramirez, all eyes trained on her after the big money arrival from Levante and she has only had the one shot so far and none of them on target. Well earlier this afternoon West Ham United welcomed Arsenal to the Chigwell Construction Stadium and Jonathan Pearce watched the drama unfold. back there by Gorey, he is forward, couldn't get a shot away, can Mead, look at the West Ham numbers back there, that's typical of the game so far, and it comes, and Russo! 
difficult one that coming away from goal to steer the header back on target. Probably the best we've seen from Arsenal so far on 23 minutes. Ruben Moy. Into Russo. Oh, that's a lovely touch. Miramar's in here now. Can she score? That's a brilliant challenge back at her by the excellent Onoka Anashi. Ayashi has been terrific, and she got there. Nearly put it in the back of her own net, mind you, but she saved West Ham. Swirling wind, difficult conditions, not a great clearance by the keeper. The say couldn't hold it up. Miedemar, Miedemar with the strength here. This is good play by Miedemar, hits the woodwork. So strong as she held up the challenge of Anne Matizia. And the goals won't come back for Vivian Miedemar. On the comeback trail, of course, but the woodwork denies her. Sissoko really has marshalled that defence so well. Comes off Smith, as Russo and Arsenal do have the lead. On the stroke of half-time. Oh, inadvertently given to them. Now the West Ham defenders had a keeper came, no communication. And Russo at the far post all alone puts Arsenal 1-0 up at the break. Gory. Here's she. Here's Uecki. She's gone down, that's got to be a penalty. Well, Catley got the wrong side there to make the challenge on Rico Eki. Right on the line. Right on the line. So it's the Say, who's been terrific for West Ham. And they're back in it at 1 1. Five minutes into the second half. What a turnaround. Arsenal stunned. Good penalty. <laughs> so now with the free kick for West Ham, the substitute. Right, Fernando. Oh, goodness me, what Zinsberger done there? And it's in the back of the net by Sissoko. An absolute gift from the Arsenal goalkeeper. She could have caught it. It was head height. Look at the elation here. Have we got a shock on our hands? Really poor punch. And Sissoko had lots of work to do. Can Arsenal deserve this long unbeaten record against West Ham now? Cooney cross with the ball in. Sissoko's header was poor and over it goes by Russo, but not by much. Decent volley that at thigh high. Difficult technique and over it goes. Arsenal pushing for an equaliser. Here's Chloe Lacasse off the bench into the box. All blocked there by Corey. Arsenal won a penalty. It's not given. That's a big shout for a penalty. Arsenal will fume. Bad day for him, they've been beaten at West Ham. So a big result in the Women's Super League earlier then that you saw with West Ham beating Arsenal by two goals to one. On Saturday, the only game saw Aston Villa and Bristol City draw 2-2. Manchester United beat Brighton 2-0. Victory for Manchester City by the same scoreline as well. And Liverpool and Spurs played out a one all draw. And that's what it means for the table as things stand. Chelsea returning to the summit. They'd be three points clear of Manchester City once again and six away from Arsenal as well. Everton would remain level on points with second from bottom, Brighton and Hove Albion. So Chelsea halfway towards returning to the summit. The second half is coming shortly. Thank you. 
So the statistics suggest that Chelsea will get the victory this evening, given that Emma Hayes' side are nine from nine when they have scored the opening goal in a WSL game this season, and Everton have only managed to recover one point from a losing position so far this season. Guru Wrighton with the only goal of the game, and one that is still being contested by uh, those of an Everton persuasion. Wrighton sticking away the penalty after those couple of challenges in the box that led to the spot kick being awarded by Emily Heaslip. Ryan Sorensen with uh, a few choice words at the interval after that uh, decision went against his team. So Chelsea 45 minutes away from uh, reassuming their position at the top of the WSL, they would uh, be three points clear of Manchester City once again, having been temporarily dislodged on goal difference following City's success earlier on today. Could be a very bad weekend for Arsenal if uh, they lose ground on both Manchester City and Chelsea at the top. So off we go then in the second half. Forwards by Leupholz. Ramirez. Lawrence missed it. Here's Charles. Hannah Hampton. 
smashes that one long. Cuthbert buzzing around. Cool under pressure. It's going to be an Everton throw. Galli will take the throw. Galli, who had that massive opportunity that she couldn't convert just after Chelsea got themselves in front. Ramirez controlled that well. Excellent strength, too, to just uh, not off uh, her opponent. Ramirez. Cuthbert. Carter. Aurora Galley. up and okay to continue that's broken away of Lauren James not really seen her dart into the area yet she won't do there either because that's taken off her toes by Wheeler. Benison. And Alva Matt. Charles snapping away and forcing the retreat. Van Alvamat. Controlled by Galley, not quite. Lawrence stepped in. This is good from Everton. Good ball in too, and Carter in the right spot. Here goes Claire Wheeler, will be desperate to try and get Everton back level, given the sense of injustice about that penalty award. Now that's catching practice for Hannah Hampton. Too much to do in that first half, Hannah Hampton. Back from Natalie Bjorn, the former Everton player, to Hannah Hampton. Cuthbert. Ritting Conrad. Lawrence. Cuthbert. Charles. Collected by Cuthbert, poked across nicely for Neve Charles. 
Nice from James. Guru right and good move this from Chelsea. And it will lead to a Chelsea corner. Scored four goals from uh, corners this season, Chelsea, the joint second highest amount in the division. That comes to nothing, though. Back in by Brighton and into the grasp of Brosnan. Coming strong after the interval as well, they've scored the most second half goals, 22 for today and conceded the fewest after the interval only three they've let in in the second half of matches in the WSL this season and the squeeze applied there nearly proved costly it might still do Cuthbert written Conrad Cuthbert Lawrence good delivery Heaved over the top of the bar by Melanie Leupoltz. Well, they were nearly made to pay for some slack defending here. And that would have been quite the goal if Leupoltz had managed to rattle home from there. They're unbeaten in their last 28 WSL games when uh, they've scored first. Last time that they did suffer defeat after getting the opening goal of the game was against Merseyside opposition when they went down 2-1 at Liverpool in September of 2022. Leupolz. Ramirez. Carter. Bjorn. Cuthbert. And the squeeze put on her. Carter will feed Hampton. Disguise on it from Bjorn. Picks out Charles, who's nearly lost out but instead is able to ping it on for James to chase oh the keepers come out here and Brosnan needs to back pedal James goes for goal well Courtney Brosnan made the wrong choice there she gets away with it though because the angle was so tough for James and I don't think it was going in anyway before the interception from Justine Van Alvermaet but it could have led to a tap in for Ramirez Second penalty in the WSL this season that Chelsea have uh, been awarded. Both ones that they've uh, faced uh, this term have uh, been scored. Wright also stuck one away in the Champions League group stage win against Real Madrid earlier on uh, this month. Natalie Bjorn. Bjorn. Taken down by James, who's then taken out. Or was she? Referee plays on. Looked like she'd been chopped down from here. Cuthbert now. Weaving her way clear. 
And offloading for Ritting Conreed. James waits on the edge, Ritting Conreed tries to do it herself. Ramirez for Cuthbert, Leupold's. Lawrence. Now Cuthbert looked offside to me. Charles lofted on for right, but there's too much on the pass. Well, Everton have uh, been hit by injuries and uh, illness. Their squad uh, not as deep as Brian Sorensen would uh, like, but uh, Riker Masson is going to come off here. on in her place Emma Bissell who was uh, dropped from the team that started their last league game and she's been drafted in for the remaining half an hour or so that started the last uh, four games in all competitions for Everton Emma Bissell the uh, Best run of uh, successive starts that she's had this season, and she's featured in every match this term, starting just over half of them. Bjorn. Charles. Just set to go back to the summit of the WSL ahead of Manchester City. They're also on course to equal Manchester City's record of 33 consecutive WSL home games unbeaten. That is how the table will look if uh, the scoreline stays the same. Chelsea looking to make it better! And that should have been the case for Johanna Ritting Conried there. Well, Ramirez with brilliant strength here. And then she burst away from Stenevik. Look up to play it into the path of Jana Ritting Conrad. You couldn't really have asked for a better cutback from Ramirez there. Super stuff from the new arrival. And Ritting Conrad with a wild finish. Upfield, an hour played. Oh, the goals have been an issue for Everton, lowest scorers in the WSL this season. There's 10 so far. At that moment for Galley in the first half, but that aside, they've uh, failed to really trouble the Blues back line. Well, it's not been a bad performance by any stretch of the imagination from Sorensen's side. They are set to lose four in a row in the league for the first time in a couple of years. Here's James. Oh. Well, two big chances to make it 2-0 for Chelsea. First, Johanna Ritten Conried skied one. And now Lauren James, once she got through here, you assumed that the net would bulge but the radar for once not quite working for Lauren James, who has been in such sparkling form in front of goal. So just the two efforts on target for Chelsea so far.
Cuthbert. That's a lovely ball. Ritting Conrad. Ramirez. Cuthbert. Charles. Now Wrighton. It's going to be a free kick, fouled by Lauren James. James here will feel that she should have done better, that's for sure. Given that she has 11 goals in her last six WSL appearances for Chelsea. Two against Brighton, a hat-trick against Manchester United and one against uh, Bristol City in her last three matches. Gone and Everton still in the equation. Benny Son couldn't get the ball in. <laughs> Benny Son's throw. Here's Lauren James. Everton a bit slow to track back there. Ritten Conreed. Lawrence for Ritten Conreed. Low ball in. Oh, nearly an own goal. James has. Uh, left something in there, I think that Everton's saying that that's a few now Lauren James has committed, is there going to be a yellow and the answer is yes. Excellent burst out wide and then it uh, was uh, Claire Wheeler, who still feeling unfortunate about having that penalty awarded against her, who uh, got the touch just in front of her own keeper. broken the way of Piemonte. I wonder if the introduction of Emma Bissell will give them a, a bit more going forwards. Good feet from right in, but then she lost her way. I think they were hoping for a free kick. Piemonte to no one in particular. Payne's throw. Cuthbert has uh, committed the foul there. Wheeler going over, Cuthbert not convinced.
see that Frank Kirby's uh, being readied by Emma Hayes to come on. Although Claire Wheeler still looks in a bit of distress, so there might be another Everton change. There's confirmation of the Chelsea switch. And uh, Jano Ritten Conried is heading off. Two goals in her nine career appearances against uh, Everton for Frank Kirby. Last of them coming in September of 2021 when they were 4-0 winners at home to the Toffees. And she's uh, found the net in her last two appearances. Only Chelsea goals she's scored since uh, November for Kirby. But, uh, this doesn't look too good for Claire Wheeler. Brighton. Payne. Given straight to Cuthbert. 20 minutes left to play. And uh, Chelsea, despite being the dominant force in the game, still haven't put the game to bed. Ramirez and Kirby. Now, almost a real moment to forget for Courtney Brosnan with a uh, Lauren James sniffing around. A little bit of hesitation here as well, but Brosnan does come together. Chelsea next in action in uh, midweek when they face uh, Sunderland in the League Cup quarterfinals and then another cup game at the weekend when they host Crystal Palace in the fifth round. And then there's a real blockbuster showdown against uh, Manchester City in the WSL, which is uh, in two weeks' time. It's the uh, first of a run of uh, four consecutive home matches for the defending champions. Ramirez. Wheeler desperately trying to get back. Ramirez. Oh, is that going to be another penalty? It is. And again, it's Claire Wheeler. And unlike the earlier award, there's no real complaint from Everton or Wheeler this time around. Just a acknowledgement and a look of resignation. There won't be any serious questions about the award of this one, I wouldn't have thought. Ramirez with the strength and the pace. And then the clip from Wheeler. And Chelsea have a chance now to give themselves a cushion late on.
So Guru Wrighton, who put one in the bottom left corner in the first half, with a chance from the spot in the second. Same place, same result, and the result is surely wrapped up for Chelsea now. Courtney Brosnan beaten, didn't go the right way this time. Wrighton sending it to the left, Brosnan going the other way. And the game is surely only going one way. Chelsea 2, Everton 0. It's taken a while, but the league leaders now have clear daylight between themselves and the Toffees. And there wasn't a great deal in it. Maybe just enough to cause the trip, but it doesn't feel anywhere near as uh, controversial as the award of the spot kick before the break. Hampton. Right, we call them possession. Payne, likewise. Charles. Cuthbert. Galley. Still be stewing about that uh, chance she had in the first half. And it goes from Bissell. and feel that's a long overdue uh, decision their way. Free kick is drilled in, right is back there. Lauren James just decides to heave it away. Cuthbert, nice ping out to Frank Kirby. Kirby for Lawrence. Wheeler smacks it to safety. Natalie Bjorn, former Everton player, who's uh, slotted in so seamlessly to this uh, Chelsea side. Wrighton. James, useful ball that. Should have been three, and I think Frank Kirby knows it, although the whistle has gone for offside. There's a delightful lift into the penalty area by Lauren James. And I'm not sure why the flag went up, because Kirby was clearly being played on. That would have been a bit of a howler had she scored and the assistant referee disallowed it. Hey, 
remain stretching. And the ball going out. Next up for uh, Everton is an FA Cup fifth round tie away at Nottingham Forest. They then host West Ham in the league who had that brilliant result against Arsenal earlier on today before a trip to Manchester City at the start of March. Changes are plenty. Lauren James given a breather for the remainder. And uh, Nuskin is the replacement for her. <laughs> Maya Ramirez doesn't get a goal on her first uh, start for Chelsea, but she has made a big impact winning the penalty that led to Gura Wright making it 2-0. And uh, Gura Wright, who scored those two spot kicks, also departs. And Aggie Beaver-Jones is on. She spent last season on loan at Everton from Chelsea with three goals in 21 appearances for the Toffees during her spell there. Lucy Hope has uh, come on here, although there looks to be a bit of confusion about something. Well, Brian Sorensen's been booked there by Emily Heaslip. Sure, if there was a uh, bit of confusion about the identity of the substitute, off goes Claire Wheeler, and number 47 is Caroline Olsen. There's going to be a red card here. And Brian Sorensen has been dismissed by Emily Heaslip. And he looks perplexed as to why that has happened. Picked up a yellow card a couple of minutes ago when it looked like there was some confusion over the substitution. And now he's been banished from the touchline. Well, Emily Heaslip was uh, not exactly popular with the Everton party after the award of that first half penalty. And now she has sent off Everton's manager. Less than a minute between the caution and then the red card for Brian Sorensen and we wait to find out the story behind that. Nuskin, one of the new introductions, that's a lovely ball! Fischl and again! Corner. Well, almost an immediate impact from Mia Fischl there. Two substitutes firmly involved. Nuskin away on the left, picked the pass perfectly. It's really good stuff from Beaver Jones to get the knockdown into the path official. She couldn't quite get the correct angle on the attempt at goal, but it did get a touch. It will be a corner kick. Beaver Jones, Cuthbert.
Charles. Official. That's given away to Cuthbert. Kirby. Nice stuff. Cuthbert! Chelsea's cake is iced. Aaron Cuthbert in on goal, scores the goal that wraps up the points once and for all. They are roaring back to the top of the table. Well, the pressure on the ball here from Kirby led to Cuthbert collecting, and then it's quick one touch passing. It's a beautiful move. It's a very delicate finish from Cuthbert that has absolutely finished off Everton. Very easy on the eye as Chelsea just picked their way through Everton's back line and Cuthbert finished it off with a flourish. Her first WSL goal since December for the Scottish midfielder. Last uh, three goals before today had come in cup competitions. That is now six for the campaign for Erin Cuthbert in all competitions, which has matched her tally across the whole of last season. Brian Sorensen still looks like he's trying to find somewhere that he can stand. And Chelsea look like they're in the mood to add another few to the tally here. Official. Kirby's pass finds Cuthbert. Lawrence. Carter. Cuthbert. Great ball in, Fischl was loitering. Everton rocking. Well, they haven't deserved to be on the end of a battering, but there is still the chance it could go that way with Chelsea in this kind of mood and Everton looking a bit dishevelled now. That's a useful ball and pinball inside the... Everton area as it comes back in and Fischl can't connect. Well, they've got so much strength in depth, Chelsea, in so many areas. Being really able to bring on Beaver Jones and Fischl to join forces up top after they've already seen the potential new world record transfer signing uh, of Myra Ramirez lead the line for them. Lawrence. Cuthbert. Here's Lawrence. That's deflected and it will be a Chelsea corner. Double figures for corners now, Chelsea. 
tenth of the game. Brosnan stays, and it turns out to be the right call. Chelsea have scored eight goals in the last 15 minutes of the second half of games this season. Only Manchester United have scored more in the WSL in that passage of playing games. Finishing strongly. And uh, next up, two very winnable games on paper with that League Cup game against Sunderland in the week and then a FA Cup match against uh, Crystal Palace. And they're facing uh, opposition outside of the WSL. And then crunch time, Manchester City. And uh, given that they have a three point lead over City after tonight's games, if they were to win that, then you fancy that the title is very much in Chelsea's hands once again. And a Chankovic. Come on for Eric Cuthbert, who gives the captain's armband over and gets a big round of applause. Her goal was uh, the pick of the bunch tonight after those two right penalties. Well, Everton will dispute both penalty awards, you would have thought, but there can be no arguing about the quality of Cuthbert's goal. Jones and still just run out of turf in the end so seven minutes added on With the uh, goal difference, of course, being quite tight between Manchester City and uh, Chelsea. They'll still be keen to add on another couple of goals. They're now on plus 29, Manchester City on plus 27. And of course, should uh, City beat Chelsea in the uh, next WSL encounter that both sides are featuring in. Goal difference would come into play there. As for Everton, they have to dust themselves down and uh, get ready to go again in the FA Cup when they uh, face Nottingham Forest next weekend. Oof, nearly another for Chelsea. So it will be yet another victory for Chelsea over Everton. It will be nine WSL successes in a row and an unbeaten stretch of 14 games in the top tier. Also means that uh, Everton have Scored just the one goal in 12 WSL meetings between the sides if they fail to find one in injury time here, and that was an own goal from 
Kadisha Buchanan in the last campaign. Charles with the armband now, and Charles with the pass forwards. Bit of a hurry clearance by Leupold's. Chelsea haven't had too many clean sheets of late, so they'll be uh, motivated to ensure that they aren't breached late on here. Just two clean sheets in their last uh, six WSL matches, so they want to uh, ensure that they grab a shut out here deep in injury time Carter cleared by Carter Kirby Houston wants it played forward, here she is! Flag was raised. Looks like it was just about the right call. Courtney Brosnan. Really had uh, much of a chance with any of the goals that she's conceded today. Two penalties, and then that uh, fine finish from Erin Cuthbert. Charles. Benny Song. Wilson, Benison, Kirby back to help out. Chankovic loses out. Galli. Galli's won it back. Van Alvermaet. Van Alvermaet again. Benison's flick. And Benison again. That's nicely worked. Olsen, chance to get the cross in. Good looking ball as well. Important header by Lawrence. Kirby chasing and keeping it in. Final minute of additional time. Eva Jones trying to muscle her way through. It's Aurora Galley. Interception by Charles. Eva Jones. Chankovic. It's a good ball, too high for Fischl, kept in by Kirby. <laughs> 
Chelsea surge back to the summit. Emma Hayes side back top of the WSL. Everton tried to hang on in there for as long as possible, but the end, Chelsea's class showed. Guro right with a pair of penalties that Everton will dispute the award of, but there was no contesting the quality of Erin Cuthbert's goal that wrapped up the victory. Chelsea now unbeaten in their last 33 WSL home games. They've equaled Manchester City's record in that regard, and they've also retaken the lead in the table from Manchester City as a result of this victory. Full-time then at Kings Meadow. Chelsea 3, Everton 0. So Chelsea were looking for a draw or better to take them back to the summit of the WSL table. And they had to wait a while until they had a first serious uh, attempt on the Everton goal. Kuro Wrighton saw her chance blocked well by Courtney Brosnan in the Everton goal. Ramirez, the new big money signing, surging into the box and her cross not fully dealt with. Wrighton denied by Brosnan. Brosnan then found herself in a spot of bother from a corner, palming onto her own post. She was fortunate that Claire Wheeler was in just the right spot to prevent the ball going in for an own goal. Wheeler then had cause for complaint when she was adjudged to have committed a foul here. Ramirez is cut back. Wheeler made one challenge and then the second which was on Johanna Ritten Conried, was deemed to be a penalty by Emily Heaslip. Everton saying that she got the ball away and it was just the follow through that caught Johanna Ritten Conried. Upstep Guro Wrighton, and while Courtney Brosnan guessed the right way, she couldn't keep out the penalty from the Norwegian. Everton didn't have many sights of the Chelsea goal, but they had a massive one here. Aurora Galley arriving at the far post to get on the end of Riker Masson's delivery, and she should have done better to potentially pull Everton back on terms. Into the second half, and Lauren James was through on goal, and given her recent scoring run, you backed her to extend Chelsea's lead, but she put it wide of the target. With 20 minutes left to play, Chelsea did extend their advantage. Ramirez involved again here as she ran at Claire Wheeler. And Wheeler diving in, gave the referee a decision to make, and Emily Heaslip decided penalty was the decision. Again, it was one that might be viewed as soft, but by going to ground, she did give the referee the decision. Guru right and went for the same spot, and it was the same outcome as she slotted home from the spot. Well, Everton unhappy about the penalty awards, and Brian Sorensen was uh, unhappy with uh, trying to get a substitution made. He was booked and then dismissed within a minute of each other. And he looks as confused as anyone about the red card that came his way. 
Chelsea firmly in charge at this point and we're looking to add further gloss to the scoreline. Mia Fisher had just come on and almost made an immediate impact as she hooked wide of the target with eight minutes left to play. Chelsea were pushing for more, they would have more and it was a thing of real beauty when Erin Cuthbert, the skipper in this game, made it 3-0 with seven minutes left to play. Frank Kirby putting the pressure on, then Cuthbert starting a quick, slick move, which ended with an unerring finish. Six for the season now for Cuthbert, which matches her total across the whole of the last campaign. A dominant showing from Chelsea, who are victorious on their own patch once again. They beat Everton by three goals to nil. So Chelsea have beaten Everton by three goals to nil. They had 16 shots to Everton's three, six of them on target. Everton failed to manage a single shot on target across the course of the game. Chelsea edging the possession stakes 54 to 46. Guro Wrighton got both of the Chelsea goals from the penalty spot with Erin Cuthbert adding that other late on. She had three shots on target, two of which were those penalties. Cuthbert with the lovely goal late on and her all-round performance was excellent as well. Five touches in the opposition box and a pass completion rate of 85%. So that rounds off the weekend in the Barclays Women's Super League. It began with a tall draw between Villa and Bristol City. Manchester United beat Brighton. Arsenal surprisingly lost away at West Ham, while Manchester City saw off Leicester City. Liverpool and Spurs drew before Chelsea rounded off the weekend with that win. And that win does mean that Chelsea return to the summit. They now have a three-point advantage over Manchester City, who they face in the coming weeks. Arsenal now six points away from the pace setters. So Chelsea at it again at home. They have seen off Everton and they are back top of the pile. From all of us, it's good night.